Hello, this is Dawn with Astrology and Tarot Alchemy, and welcome to my very first pick a card. So I wanted to show you what the choices were. This is choice number one, Amethyst, and this is the Mythic Tarot deck. So you get an idea of what the choices were. The question that I asked was Mercury going direct, moving forward. So we're going to get some guidance regarding that. This is a tiger eye. And this is the Light Seer's Tarot. So each one will have its own tarot deck. And the last one is Souls on Fire deck. This is Selenite. Lovely moon shape. Helps when you're a Cancer sun. Right. And this is a very much a um, whimsical inner child deck. Different style. There we go. And I chose three oracle decks to draw from. So this is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. And I drew from... Um, Denise Lynn's The Sacred Forest Oracle, um, The Cosmic Journey Oracle by Yannick Silver, and The Sh Mystical Shaman Oracle, um, which was a collaboration of Alberto Villaldo Vilard and Colette Baron reed So let's get started with number one. All right, choice number one, let's take a look at your oracle cards. I do have a piece of Labradorite here that I will set the cards up against so you can take a look at them throughout the reading. First card up is Storm Spirit, Chaos. Now there's a storm that has come to this forest. It's very much like Uranus and it's very much like the Tower card where you might have been stuck in a situation that you just weren't sure how you were going to move on. And then all of a sudden chaos occurs and their way is now open for you to move forward. There also could be chaos um, around you and you need to decide if that is something that you want to change or whether that is an impetus for you to move on to a new area of life. So next card, you, did, you decided to wake up or else why did you draw me? This is certainly about awakening. And it very well could be that this chaos has occurred to get your attention and to show you that there is no point living in fear, that you have a lot to offer and now you can start exploring that on your own. All right. And the final card is Wild Woman. She feels the freedom to be able to dance, to be able to be herself, to enjoy her spirit and let it open up all of her intuition. She is ready to move forward. She enjoys the now. So this is very much um, a time for you. I would most definitely, um, Mercury turning direct is urging this particular choice to move forward and be yourself. And let's take a look at the tarot. Again, this is with the amethyst right here. I'm gonna be drawing six cards. I will draw them for me to look at, then I'll turn them around for you to look at. What does the tarot have to say for choice one? Ah. Okay. So, justice. You need to make sure you're happy with the decisions that you make. Knight of Swords, this is going to be happening quickly. 
This is the fastest moving night. The devil energy. This is a good reason for chaos to show up because the devil energy is a lot of times we have put ourselves in situations um, that we need to make the decision to get ourselves out of. We need to cut those strings. Um, quit dancing to somebody else's tune. Um, always not free to make your own choices. King of Swords. <laughs> he is definitely someone who would cut those strings, right? King of Swords. He would take a look at the facts. He would take a look at how he wants to make a decision and he would base his decision on fact. This is also very Aquarian energy, just as justice is very Libra energy. So a lot of times we're leaving these relationships now with Libra having the South Node. Relationships that were toxic, relationships that were people-pleasing, that... Um, you know, we weren't able to make everyone happy. So four of cups, whispering gossip. What will people say? What will people think? And I think you need to step out of that. That is part of that chaos. The king of swords would not listen to this kind of gossip. Not at all. Page of Swords. Clear and concise messages coming in for you. So I think this is going to be actually um, something that'll help pull you out of the chaos. I feel like this is a message coming in that's going to be something that's going to clarify things for you. So watch for that synchronicity because really I think this whole thing is saying for you, you know, you need to be proud of the decisions that you're making. And um, when you look back, that you're happy that, okay, I'm happy I didn't stay there. I'm happy with the choices that I made. It's going to be happening quickly, but I do feel like there's a situation that you need to end and get out of. Even though we didn't have a 10 show up here, this definitely is a situation that has to change. Has to change for you. King of Swords is going to help you do that just by taking a look and using discernment and your intuition, which is what you used in order to pick this deck. And the Page of Swords, you will be having a message coming in. So thank you for listening. And if you like this new addition to uh, the cards, please hit like and comment. Thank you. Congratulations, deck number two, choice number two. This is the tiger's eye. It's a very protective energy. And this is the light seer's tarot as your choice. So what we are going to do first is look at the oracle cards. So the very first one is Mystic Meadow Sanctuary. This to me is where your sanctuary is, is, is also where your tribe is. And you can see that there's all different kinds of animals there. A place that's welcome to all. So we'll put that here. The next card is the Phoenix rises into joyful abundance. You are being set free. You are enjoying um, a new renaissance, a new you. I think you've probably um, already had an awakening and what you're doing now is finding your tribe and you're also finding yourself more and more. The holy mountain. What is your sacred place? What place calls to you? Where do you want to go? What matters to you? All of those things are what the holy mountain can signify. It's a destination that only you can determine. So let's take a good look at what the tarot cards have to say.
messages for Mercury going direct for group two, messages for Mercury going direct for group two. Oops, we have that one flip here. Let's take a look at you. Ace of Swords, truth. Un uh, well, I'm just gonna use the top of the deck. Strength. Let me just make sure you get a good look at the cards. Ah, the Empress. Look at what you've got so far. You've been obviously awakened. And I do feel that you, I feel like this is a timing card. I feel that this is indicating summer. I mean, it's, it's also a major arcana, but I feel that this is going to be much stronger for you when we have Lion's Gate, which is 8-8, eight, eight, right? So that will be a big time for you. And in the meantime, you have this Empress energy, and that's very much about manifesting because Mercury moving direct allows us to put forward all the plans that we've been working on, and we can now make it an active start on our future. Page of Pentacles, definitely the start of something new. You have to take those first steps. Um, sometimes they're not big steps, but you have to start somewhere. And even if when you first start something, it feels like it's a bit, you know, chaotic or a bit of a mess. Look at how mellow this page is. It's very much about maybe possibly learning something new. That's, I feel like there's something new to be learned. And I think you will intuitively find out what that would be. Oh, three of cups. What? Celebrating with the besties. Excuse my dog, Jack. So um, this is so much a card of joy and celebration and living in the moment and being with the people that you care about. And with the Oracle cards that you have, I really feel like you know, the very first one really showed that you were coming out and being with a tribe that was very different from what you've been with in the past. And you're happy with that. That works for you. Mm, seven of Pentacles. Yes, this is the start of something new. This is something that you'll be able to um, help grow, that you'll be able to uh, allow to take good roots and that you can be proud of because this is long-term. This is going to be a long-term situation for you. And it's very much what you manifested. I think you're going to find that coming into this August time, you know, you have found your truth. I think that's part, part of what this is here is that you're opening up, you're finding your gifts, you're knowing at least that you're moving forward. You may not know exactly, um, just like the chariot where, you know, the horses are racing forward to a grand destination, but you don't know where it is. That's kind of the energy that I get, but you're, you know that, that the answer is somewhere else. That it's someplace that you can start something new, put down good roots, have people that you can enjoy and be around. Um, that celebrate with you. This is people that celebrate with you and are happy for you. So this is beautiful energy of moving forward in Mercury Direct. Um, I think that you'll find a lot of um, synchronicities because this is what that indicates to me is that that Phoenix rising from the ashes is going to see things in a new way, is going to be able to soar and see things in a way that they weren't able to see things before. So enjoy Mercury Direct. Welcome deck number three, choice number three. This is the Selenite. And what we are going to do first is we are going to take a look at the Oracle cards that came out for you with this Mercury Direct energy moving forward. So the very first card, 
Guardians of the Land Protection. Knowing what's important. And I actually had two cards come out um, for the, uh, the Cosmic Journey Oracle and I felt that I had to take both of them. So this is the only set that had two of these. So this is the all the activated ally. And I do feel like you're getting an activated ally. I feel like it's going to be um, from here. I feel like it's either an ancestor, it's guardian, or a guide for you. The other card that came out is the universe. And to me, that shows that you don't have any limits, that uh, this is something that you can expand upon in any way that you want. This is Mercury going direct. This is putting into place all the plans that you've been working on. And now is the time to move forward. Last card, Eagle. I still get a very strong feeling that you have ancestors here and that you are going to be looking at things from an eagle's perch going forward, making your decisions, knowing that um, you have guides and angels that have your back and that um, that to me is just such a mystical, powerful force that's behind you that I feel like um, coming forward there's things that you were always meant to do. So let's take a look at what this deck has to say. For choice number three, Mercury Direct. Choice number three, Mercury Direct moving forward. If you do like these uh, pick a cards, please like and comment so I know that I'll, I should do more of them. Ooh, the tower. Uranus energy. So what is happening? What are you trying to break away from? What is stuck in your life that the tower feels the need to come in? Because the tower shows up when it's tried everything else. It's shown you synchronicities. It's shown you um, different avenues. And um, you just haven't seen those outs or the opportunities. And so it's going to make a bigger step. This doesn't have to be a, a negative, though, to get your attention. It just has to be something big where you might see something big in somebody else's life and that makes you realize that it's time to make some changes for yourself. Ah, two of pentacles. Juggling that decision, what are your choices? Now, I think this is where that eagle comes in where you're taking a look at things from a higher point of view. Definitely feel that energy. Two of Wands, this is a perfect time to put your manifestations out to the universe. And with the help of guides and with the help of angels, you can ask for the world. This is something that you're, that you're putting out there and, and it is so unbelievable, the manifestation power that is out there right now and will continue to be out there through June. So I would say, ask, please, please ask, because you have help to get to the things that you have meant for you. Ah, the magician. Definitely manifestation. Using what is around you and using alchemy. And alchemy includes time. Um, Archangel Michael uses alchemy in the temperance card because he is putting things in place. The magician takes what is currently existing and works magic with what he's got on hand. So he can still create amazing things, 
but he's using what is immediately around him for tools in order to create something. Ah, the death card. The death card is about something that is being released in order for something new to start. Um, it always is meant to bring something better in. It is about making space, making room. And I think the tower might be helping you with that. Sometimes the tower can help you make room. Unexpectedly, you'll have to deal with something. And just like that with the death card, you will also have to deal with something. But this is guaranteeing that you are not going to stay stuck. This is guaranteeing that if you can't find a way to move forward, that the universe is going to step in and help you with that. And you still have this manifestation power that you can use. Ah, justice. Being at a crossroads. What would you look at in the future and feel like you've made the right choice? If you're looking at it from an eagle's perch point of view, what do you think is the right choice for you? What, what is a win-win with other people? Because that's part of justice as well. Trying to find that balance and being fair. Because um, the universe has a way of working things out. And if you are doing things in fairness, then that is the energy that will come back to you. And I do think that um, you have a lot of, well, you've got <laughs> Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana. So there are big changes ahead for you, but you have the you have the tools. So if something happens, you've got the tools. And this 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 whole making room for something new and better to come in, that's what this death card is. You're going to be making room for something new and better to come in. But use this energy of manifesting to your own advantage. You know, make the decision. Look at it from the help of your guides, from the help of your higher self, who can help you with your intuition and guide through guide you through the situation. Because you do have help. I, I really believe that you have help. And the universe wants you to succeed, but you have definitely guides and angels out there. Um, guardians of the land. I really think that you have guides and angels there to help you out. So I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope that you're looking forward to this Mercury Direct, and I think you should be happy about preparing for the future. Thank you for watching, and please hit like if you liked the pick a reading. Bye.